Hey guys, so today we are getting ready for round two of paragliding training, getting ready for paramotor training. We're gonna do three full days of training. I'm super excited again, and I'm actually probably more excited now because I know what I'm excited for because I've done it once. Last time I got uh, five flights or so in, five or six. I'm gonna get the trailer out and uh, get it all set up. It's mostly set up now and get ready to go. Wait for my brother and uh, we're gonna be hitting the road. All right, so at this point, I'm sure some of you are asking why did I decide to move it with my tractor instead of my truck, which is just in the garage there. And the tractor just moves uh, around a little easier on the property and I can maneuver the, the trailer um, in much tighter spaces. Two, I'm actually not gonna hook it up just yet. I have a couple of errands to run with my truck. So it's just easier to, uh, to leave it unhooked for now. So I was just putting the tractor away and I was closing up the shop and somewhere up there, where is he? There's a bird. Um, all my doors lift up so that they can fly above them and they can't figure out how to get out. He's gonna poop on stuff. I don't know that I've even caught him on camera yet. Uh, I have no way of getting this bird out of here. Oh, you little jerk. Not my favorite. Oh, I see you. Get out of my shop. I don't want you here. All right, well, he's gonna have to stay in here for now. I'll leave the door open so maybe he can get out, but I've got lots to do, so I've gotta keep packing. All right, so I am done hooking everything up way early, everything's loaded. I'm gonna probably run in and clean up the house. I tend to be a little messy and it would make my wife much happier when I'm gone for the next three or four days to have the house clean. So we'll do that. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to take you to do that. That's boring. Hopefully, uh, we'll be leaving in a little bit. All right, so we are here on the beach where we're gonna be doing some paragliding today. So this is my third day of training, but the first in this kind of group that we're doing. So uh, we've got three full days ahead of us. So looking forward to it, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, well, this yeah. is mostly even, but not quite. Move around a little bit to where this becomes this. even more even. Not with a death grip, but just with your hips. Okay. Okay, that's good. Lean your chest forward. I'm gonna do the rises. Oh, okay, Lean your okay. chest forward. And when you're ready, bring it up with your butt. Keep your hands nice and high. Keep your hands nice and high. Keep your hands high. Keep your hands high. Keep, hands high. Keep moving into the wind. Keep moving into the wind. All right, turn 180. Forward, hands high behind you. Hands high behind you. Feel a little pressure. Good. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. So as I go to edit this, I realize that there's a strap covering the camera the entire flight. And the only reason that I left part of it in is that I want you to hear how my instructor is able to talk me through the most turbulence we had had to that point. We can enter an issue, a little bit of turbulence. We can see that glider start to touch around a little bit. Uh, batting gear is going to use wind. Maintain your position, look at the ground, make sure you're not getting swept out towards the ocean. Which means right flank, I think, right now. Uh, really not very much fun on batting. If it's what I think is going on up there, this not dangerous. Hello, Adam. A gentle flare. Now, stand up straight really quick, grab the rear risers, pull them down, turn, pull them down, pull them down, pull them down. Good. There you go. 
Adam, I think we're going to do a lot of toes tomorrow for you. This is looking a little bit sketchy. And that I was a real sketchy win. Probably going to be what we do for today. We're yeah. going to talk about all right, so I've got serious helmet hair, but man, what a day. So this is day two of this weekend. Um, day one, I didn't really get to do a recap, but day one, um, we got to do a little bit of flying. Uh, I haven't checked the footage yet. Uh, I, got, I got to go and one other person got to go, but the weather was a little, the winds were pretty strong and we had a shear up about oh, 150, 200 feet in the air. So um, I think I got up somewhere around 400 feet on the first day. Um, we we're hitting that shear layer and it was really dirty air. So um, it was less than comfortable, especially for the stage that we're at. So today, however, uh, I think I've done three flights so far, three or four, and uh, got getting up about a thousand. I'm about to go up much higher. So we're getting a reserve shoot together, um, things like that. So having a blast today, doing a lot of flying. Um, hopefully I can roll in some video. It's kind of hard to get a lot of video in between. So we'll see what I can do. But um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. And we'll keep going. Okay, we're gonna try and get you pretty high on this one. Looks like you definitely have a reserve. So up we go. See what we can get. Okay, Doug. Tyler, uh, tell us head left, 1,200 feet high behind you. Take a look at it. Let it all go. 
Hey, come on back to your left or right, whichever one makes sense to you. And we're going to set you up for a nice landing. When we're in big ears, we can make some minor turns. When we're in speed bar and big ears, we only fly straight. There's no real reason, because if we have speed bar on, it's because we're trying to get out in front of something. So turning is sort of beyond the definition of what you're trying to do. Focus on that tower. Really be obsessive about monitoring its position. Don't just wander around looking at the pretty girl in the house. It's Discover Paris.